Guys, I don't know how to say this, but this is a total game changer. CapCut just released the fastest. CapCut AI launched a free AI powered content. I just heard creator. they released it, and yeah, it's completely free. CapCut AI Creator. It's CapCut AI Creator. It's CapCut AI Creator. It's CapCut AI Creator. CapCut AI Creator. It's CapCut AI Creator. It's it's Cap Cut Cut AI. AI. Cap Cut Cut AI Creator. Now that's interesting. While every day brings a new AI tool into the spotlight, I'm starting to believe that within a year, the entire editing industry could look completely different. And yeah, that sounds scary. Are we, as editors, cooked? Or is there still a way to keep up? The good news is, the tools we already use are evolving faster than ever. And that means you don't need to switch software to stay ahead. CapCut just dropped a free AI tool. And it's insane. It could change the entire content creation game. And what I'm about to show you is going to get very interesting. Let's say I'm on a mission to create a piece of content and I need four things to get it done. We're going to follow this tutorial using CapCut Desktop. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, make sure to grab it. I've dropped the link in the description. The first thing every content creator needs is an idea. So we're going to use CapCut's AI brainstorm feature. Now, let's say I want to make a video about Dracula and I'm curious about what kind of content I could create. By simply typing Dracula's story, CapCut will generate several interesting topic ideas for me. As you can see, all these topics are quite engaging, and if none of them match what I have in mind, I can always generate more. Here's the cool part. Each topic comes with its own reverse engineering system. That means when you click on the Explore icon, it generates branches and deeper layers of that topic, and you can keep doing this multiple times. Each piece of writing comes with its source. When you click on it, it takes you directly to the page where the data was pulled from. This is incredibly useful for story-based niches like documentaries or history, because now you always have reliable sources without spending hours trying to find them. Now, you can pick any data or topic you want, and it will be added to your key points, which will help with the next step, crafting your script. Here, you can enter any requirement you want for your script, from genre and writing style to even giving it a custom prompt. You can also choose the duration from one minute to 10 minutes, depending on the content and the social media platform you're targeting. Just look at the script it generated for me. It starts with a strong question hook about Vlad Dracula and quickly explains the story behind the name. Anyone familiar with script writing can tell how catchy and well-structured it is. It even includes a twist at the end, revealing that the nickname Dracula came from his father and what that actually means. Now that we have our script, it's time to create the voiceover. And you can do that right inside CapCut's AI creator. There are over 100 voices with different tones and professions, and I've already saved some of my favorites. After picking one and generating it, it's time to move on to the fourth step, the editing itself. Now, while you can add an avatar to narrate your story and mix it with other media, I want to try a different style for my video. Just head to the Media tab and select Generate AI Media. You'll find various styles like realistic, pop art, anime, manga, and more. For my story, I'm choosing the gothic style because it fits perfectly. Then, just click Generate to automatically turn your script and voiceover into a complete video. And here's the best part. You don't have to give it prompts one by one. While you can do that separately, CapCut's AI creator reads directly from your script and builds the whole thing for you. It's incredibly specific when it comes to generating media. Just look at the details. Not a single word feels off, and everything is readable and accurate, and it's super fast. Generating one minute of media usually takes just one to three minutes. You can also upload your own footage, and the AI will match it with your script automatically. Plus, CapCut has its own library of clips you can use, though in this video, we won't be using those features. You can even add captions, and in the next part, I'll show you how to create the best ones possible. And lastly, you can add music. Just search for anything. For this video, I'm going with a dark, mysterious soundtrack to match the tone of the story. Now we can export our video, but I'm not stopping there. Even though it already looks great, I'm going to add my own editing style to this content. You can either continue editing in the CapCut web version or simply open CapCut on your desktop and access the project from your cloud space. This is where we're going to work some magic on the clip. So, when you open the project, you'll see that CapCut has imported all the layers separately. Captions, voiceovers, media, everything. If you click on one of the footage layers, you'll notice they already have position keyframes applied. Now, 
Let's fix our captions. First, select the caption layer, go to the animation tab, and under the caption section, look for bounce out. This effect makes the text appear word by word. Next, bring one of the text elements to the center of the screen and adjust its style. Once you're happy with it, select all the caption layers, right click, and choose Create Compound Clip. Then, go to the Video tab, scroll down to enable motion blur, set Blend to the maximum, and change speed to six times. This will give our captions a smooth, you know dynamic morph real. effect. Now that our captions are ready, let's add some transitions between the clips. I'm going to use the color glitch transition because it fits perfectly with the story and concept. I'll apply it to all the gaps between scenes. Next, go to the effects section and search for film frame. Apply it and extend it so it covers the entire timeline. This layer adds a vintage, noisy texture that matches our video's aesthetic really well. For the final touch up, Let's work on the sound design, search for noise, and add a white noise sound effect to the timeline. Since it's short, I'm going to duplicate it a few times to make sure it covers the full clip. Now, let's add some extra sounds. For example, a monster voice. Drop it into the timeline and place it wherever you want it to play. Always remember to lower the volume on sound effects so they blend better. To make the monster voice mix more naturally with the background music, I'll also apply the Echo 2 effect. These small sound design choices make a big difference. Let's also add glitch sound effect wherever we placed our glitch transitions. Just copy and paste the sound at each transition point for consistency. Dracula. Finally, I'm going to layer in a few more effects like screams and dragon sounds, apply reverb, and lower their volume slightly to make them sit nicely behind the music. We actually made a video with AI, but always keep in mind, AI is here to help us create videos faster and better. Adding your own editing style and personal touch will always take it to the next level. Now, let's take a look at the result. Did you know that there was a real-life Vlad the Impaler? Most people know about Dracula, the infamous Romanian prince who dipped his bread in blood and was the inspiration for Bram Stoker's character Count Dracula. But what many people do know is that Vlad's nickname was actually given to him by his father. See, Vlad Dracul was a member of the Order of the Dragon, a holy order founded in 1408 to combat heresy and witchcraft. And Vlad's nickname, Dracula, actually means son of the dragon. Talk about a mouthful. Now, Vlad was known for his violent tactics, which included burning people alive and throwing their ashes into the wind. So it's no wonder that he was the inspiration for Bram Stoker's character, Count Dracula. But there's one thing that really makes Vlad stand out from all the other members of the Order of the Dragon. You ready for this? His father was named Vlad Dracul, which means son of the devil. Yep, you heard that right. The son of the devil. While traditional editors spend hours crafting a single piece, creators using AI can produce more content, faster, and sometimes earn even more because of the volume. At the end of the day, we all want to monetize our work. AI's mission is to help us get there faster and easier. And with tools like Drumina, Pippet, and now CapCut's AI Creator, that goal is more achievable than ever. If you want to try this amazing CapCut tool, you can use either its web version, mobile app, or desktop version. Also, I've put together a useful list of prompts you can use to create videos with CapCut's AI Creator tool. It's completely free, and you can make some really cool content with it. And finally, thanks for watching this video. See you soon.